parents are really the most um, invested in with their children. And along the way, we hope that they learn to ride and love to ride, and most of them do. And I, Owen is certainly a perfect example of a child who loves to ride and is doing a great job. Want to wave to everyone? Good job, Owen. Horses at Heart has uh, just become the first horse boy center in North America. Uh, the horse boy method is uh, a methodology that was devised by a fellow named Rupert Isaacson, who wrote a movie, uh, wrote a book, and produced a movie of that same name, The Horse Boy, where he actually took his autistic son on a horse trek across Mongolia. And the, the benefits of being around the horses were so significant that he found all those elements of the trek that he did with his son in Mongolia and sort of condensed them into a methodology that we could use here um, in, you know, in similar situations, but not having to go to Mongolia to do it. So today, Owen is riding, what kind of animal do you guys think this is? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. He's got a really big horn that horses don't have. What would that make him? Yes, you guys, you got it. Well, we are really lucky because the Ontario Science Centre is currently running a program called Mythic Creatures. And I think you guys might know that the unicorn falls into that category of mythic creatures. And here is one right here at the Royal for you guys to enjoy. So that is pretty neat. And Owen's up on our mythic creature today, just doing a great job. And Owen happens to know an awful lot about mythic creatures. And with the horse boy method, we really make sure that we're working with interests of the children, because that's what brings joyful engagement. And I'm gonna ask Owen some questions Let's see now. Owen, name a mythic creature that starts with the letter D. Dragon! Dragon! He's right! Woohoo! So, Owen, let's see if you can walk Cal over to the letter D, which I'm pointing to right now. Can you help Cal turn and go right? Good job! Right to that letter D. Well, and when we get to D, we're going to track left, and we're going to halt. Let's see if you can... Nice! Just a little bit of a tug, and Cal came to a nice halt. Well, that is great. What are some of the things we know about dragons? That's right! Owen said that they breathe fire! That's right! In legends and folk tales, dragons are magical, but early naturalists treated them as actually part of the natural world. So long before the development of paleontology, people unearthed fossilized bones in Asia and Europe and actually attributed them to be dragon bones. So who knows? Now, let's see, Owen, oh, what other... There's a letter U over there. Well, Unicorn! That's a good one. And there we go. Let's see if you can bring Cal to the letter U for unicorn. There are unicorns at the Ontario Science Centre exhibit of mythical creatures. And when you get to the U, you're going to just give a gentle tug and ask Cal to stop. Good job. So, there we go. Please go to the school group entrance in the hall C. Miss Asher of Harvard Collegiate, please go to the school group entrance in the hall C. Okay. Mr. Lincoln. I guess I'm going to just talk over that. Um, some things we know about unicorns before, okay, as we track around. Actually, Lewis Carroll wrote about He said, oh my goodness, you are some kind of a monstrous creature. I've never seen a creature such as you before. 
And Alice said to the unicorn, you're a monstrous creature. I've never seen such a creature as you before. And the unicorn said to Alice, well, we're going to have to find a letter M, which means going mermaid. So come to the end and we're going to come up the center aisle. So Owen, oh, let's see you turn right up the center aisle. And looking at the letter M, good job. We're going to go right to the letter M and we're going to track left. And M is for mermaids, half fish and half woman. Pretty intriguing mythic creatures. And when you get to M, you're going to ask for a halt. Nicely done, a little bit more, ask. Good job, Owen. And what do we know about mermaids? Where do they live? Under the sea. What else do we know about mermaids? Anything else? Yes, they're half fish and they live under the sea. And Do they eat fish? I wonder if mermaids eat fish. I think we're going to have to find. What do you think they eat? We're going to have to find out what they eat. That's going to be our homework. How about that? You find out and I'll find out. We'll compare notes for next time. So let's ask Cal to move forward. Good job. And we'll go around, all the way around the ring one more time. So currently at the Ontario Science Centre, Mythic Creatures, where you'll find exhibits about unicorns and mermaids and dragons and phoenixes and all kinds of other really neat things. We're going to go down the center aisle and let's see if we can go right straight through the gate. That's a big horn, right? And wave to the man in the cowboy yeah. hat. Want to give him a big wave? <laughs> Want to wave to all the people? See everyone later. Okay. Thank you very much, and our Science Center will be...